Um, so it's 17 and four so far. So we're actually expecting a pretty early game surrender. That's what I was talking to you with Kevin over Skype. Um, I'm pretty fed so far. I just picked picked up my Trinity Force and just look at that: 30 attack damage, 30 ability power, 30 attack speed, 15 crit chance, 12% move speed, which is really nice. Uh, it um, works with his um, passive on uh, raise morale, 7%. So you end up getting like 19% move speed, and you have your boots too, which puts you at when you activate it, like as you saw, I had almost 500 move speed. Um, so that helps a lot for uh, chasing, and plus each one of your hits from your uh, your Grog Soaked Blade is going to slow them. So, I mean, there's really it's really hard for people to get away. Plus, just bam, Cannon Barrage, Ash slows you, remove Scurvy. Like, Gangplank is one of the best chasers in the game, even though he doesn't really have any chasing, um, like, jumping forward techniques, you know? Uh... Yeah, 250 health, 250 mana, a little bit of uh, tankiness, but the 25% uh, chance to slow on target and um, increases base attack damage by 150% for one attack after you use a skill are both what make the Trinity Force just incredibly good. Um, it's just uh, it's really nice um, that you kind of combine three different items. So I fire off the ult um, because I think I saw Warwick was fighting Trindomir at red and I wanted to help him out. Bam, Ramus had some... Oh, he didn't! Okay, well, anyway, I come around here in case Trin decides to spin through that wall. I'm just going to pick him off with a quick parlay and actually get hit with it. Or, no, Warwick gets hit, but I thought I got hit with the Ash Arrow, so I activate Remove Scurvy. And, uh, um, yeah, I thought I got hit with the Ash Arrow, so I activated Remove Scurvy, which, uh, if you guys didn't know, Ash used the Ash Arrow. You pop that Remove Scurvy and get the hell out of there because that means the gang's probably inbound. And, uh,. They won't be able to catch you because you're Gangplank and you are incredibly fast with Raise Morale and your Trinity Force. Um, as you can see, Kevin, he talks a lot of shit in games. Like, uh, even more so if he's losing, which is a little odd. Um, and that kind of just riles up people and ends up kind of sometimes ruining some of the games that I have. Because, um, see, it just starts arguing. When you get frustrated, you argue. And when you argue, you don't play as well. It's just how it happens. So little tip I can have is stay out of the chat box. I mean, if you're talking strategy, that's fine. But, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I was saying that Noodle Scoop had a higher elo than me, which I thought he did, actually, but it turns out I actually have quite a lot higher elo than him. But, I mean, it's whatever. I enjoy playing with him. I can talk to him on Skype. Which uh, brings me to my next point. Um, if you guys want to play with me on uh, League of Legends, just comment in a video um, with your name, your League of Legends name, and your Skype name or something, so uh, that way we can play a game together, because I'd love to play with uh, more people. Um, I would really prefer it if you were rank 30, or level 30, but um, and somewhere in the the 1100 to 1400 ELO range. Uh, excuse me there. Um, like I was saying, um, and I would really like it if you have like Skype or something that I can uh, chat with you on, because I think games go a lot easier um, if we've got that. So right there, I was taking the tower, but I was decided I was taking a little bit too much damage. But then Kennen starts taking the tower, and so I kind of decided to go in and KS the tower, I guess. Um, so uh, this game is going to be over pretty soon, I think. So um, I'm going to go over quick build recommendations. Uh, like I said, Riggle's Lantern, you want to get Merc Treads or Ionia Boots, uh, depending on really how good the other team is. Um, if they don't have a lot of CC, then by all means just get the cooldown boots because you want to be hitting parlay and you want your remove scurvy to be up and your raise run. Really, cooldowns are really nice. Uh, like, cooldown reduction is really nice on Gangplank because he is a pretty skill-oriented champ, but he can also hold his own in a 1v1 fight. Um, cooldown boots, get, rush the Trinity Force going uh, Sheen, Phage, um, Zeal. And then uh, after that, I recommend getting the Giant's Belt. Uh, building towards a Warmogs, as I think I do right here. Oh, no, okay. I actually decide to go really offensive in this because uh, um, I know this, that the game's over and we're 19-6, and six and uh, we've got pretty good team comp. And so, uh, But if you're playing solo queue, I definitely man recommend um, going, if you don't have people to rely on, go with the uh, Warmogs first. You'll be pretty tanky. Then you can build Atmos after that, and then you can build toward an Infinity Edge. And that's when I recommend that. Um, or, um, after you build Amos, you can build something like a Banshee's Veil, or, um, just some other item, depending on what the enemy team's playing. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is a, this is a first video for Flawless Friday. I know I have some other Flawless videos up. 
and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.